BB2121, which is a, a BCMA targeted CAR T cell therapy in patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma, uh, which is a CARMA uh, trial. And uh, as a background, uh, outcomes in patients with triple and class exposed uh, relapsed refractory multiple myeloma who progress uh, after IMID or uh, PI and anti-CD38 uh, antibodies have a very poor response with a median PFF, PFS of three to four months and median overall survival of uh, 9.3 months, which is quite dismal. In this trial, investigators assessed uh, three dose levels of uh, an anti-BCMA uh, targeted CAR T with a co-stimulativity domain of 4-1 BB and uh, T cell activation domain of CD3 Zeta. And they built on a previous uh, phase one trial which uh, evaluated doses uh, of 50 to 800 million CAR T cells, which showed very promising overall response of 85% with CRs of 45% and median uh, progression pre survival of close to a year, 11.8 months, and median duration of response was 10.9 months. And uh, in this uh, in the current uh, trial, patients had to be exposed to three or more prior regimens. So uh, that's pretty uh, much heavily pre treated uh, patients' population. And uh, they included 140 patients, and the manufacturing rate was 99%. And if we have uh, a closer look at the patient characteristics, uh, patients uh, were between 33 to 78 years old. So uh, that's uh, quite reflective of the patients with multiple myeloma with a median age of uh, 61 years. And uh, also there were patients in this analysis, 2% uh, who had an echo of uh, two, which is again expected in patients with multiple myeloma. And uh, this was a heavily pretreated uh, patient's population with median uh, six prior lines of chemotherapy going up to 16 lines. And 94% uh, of those patients had prior allotransplant. And uh, also 88% required bridging chemotherapy, which is again reflective of the resistant nature of these patients uh, or refractory nature of these patients' disease. And if we look at the overall uh, responses, uh, it was 73% in all dose levels. And uh, it's of note that uh, investigators assessed three dose levels, 150, 300, and 450 million cells. Uh, across uh, all of them, the dose level of 450 million cells showed the highest overall response of 82% with CRs of 39%. And in all groups, the uh, overall response was 73% with a CR of 33%. And the median time to first response was quite a short, quick one month, which is again required for uh, those patients who often progress very quickly and uh, one would need a rapid response just to control the disease. And uh, the median time to CR was also uh, pretty quick of 2.8 months. And if we have a closer look at MRD, 79% uh, of patients who had a CR were MRD negative. And that's quite uh, promising because uh, MRD probably reflects a potential uh, MRD negativity probable uh, surrogate of a potential cure. And if we look at all patients, not just patients who were in, uh, in CR, MRD negativity were detected in 26% uh, of patients. And duration of responses was uh, long, 10.7 months. And uh, again, across uh, among patients who had the highest dose for 50 uh, this seems to be even longer, 11.3 months. Same was true for PFS of 8.8 .8 months across uh, the all dose level, all three dose levels. 
uh, again higher, median PFS of 12 months at the dose level of 450 uh, million cells. Overall response was quite uh, high, 78% were event-free at 12 months. And again, if we look at the all overall response for those patients doesn't exceed really one year otherwise. And still the survival data needs to mature, but this is a signal that this could be one-time treatment which leads to durable responses in this heavily pretreated patient population. And if we look at the incidence of uh, side effects, grade three or higher CRS occurred in less than 6% of patients. Again, this is reflective of uh, the safe nature of this disease, which of this treatment, which potentially could be uh, applied as an outpatient with, le with less resources. Same was true for neurotoxicity with less than three, uh, with less than six percent uh, of grade three or more neurologic events, and uh, it was largely reversible. And of note here, the median duration of CRS and neurotoxicity across all subgroups were around five to seven days. Again, this is reflective of a potential ap applicability of this treatment as an outpatient. And finally, the most common side uh, adverse event was the cytopenias, as expected with all CAR T cell therapies. However, uh, it was largely reversible with the thrombocytopenia, reversible at two months and uh, with the neutropenia reversible at two months and thrombocytopenia reversible at uh, three months. So in conclusion, and if we look at this treatment as an alternative, maybe moving uh, further to the earlier lines of treatment, this could be a potentially one-time uh, treatment which could have a durable and very high response rate up to 70% uh, in otherwise uh, heavily pretreated, uh, very resistant patient population. If we have a closer look at the highest dose level of 450 million cells, the overall response was 82%, uh, with 39% of CRs, and the duration of response was 11.3 months, and the PFS was uh, over a year.